yarn to be it's sandy sorry i was just making sure i had my mic on <laughs> um happy national crochet day i totally botched that because <laughs> i totally forgot that today was the 11th and i was supposed to get my little hearts out uh and hang them up for people and i totally forgot so <laughs> i'm gonna have to do that tomorrow so i i just updated my hearts and wanted to show you i put them on my instagram and my facebook page i just put um little oops little brooches on them well they're not so little but <laughs> uh so i thought they were a little more attractive that way oh. <laughs> And there it goes so yeah so I have to put those up probably tomorrow I'm thinking the dog park I'm not sure yet Bailey and I haven't been at the dog park in a while so maybe we'll see anyways uh, so hopefully some of you got involved with the National Crochet Day uh, fiber arts hashtag fiber arts something <laughs> Oh, I got to tell you guys, I have not been well. Um, I've been kind of muddling through trying to get videos out for you guys, but I'm going through something. I don't know what it is, and I'm kind of afraid to go to the doctor to find out. But I've been void of all energy. I have been absolutely... I'm literally... And this is no joke. This is not... I'm not exaggerating... I had been sleeping 20 hours out of the day. Um, I'd get up, I'd be up for maybe two hours, and then I would go back to bed and I would sleep all day long into the evening. And then I'd get up to go pee or whatever, maybe get a drink. Um, I was barely eating. Uh, I just, I, it was like somebody had drugged me. I, I don't know what was wrong. Um, George is making me take vitamins now, just in case I'm deficient on some vitamins. I'm feeling a little bit better. Uh, but I was just absolutely, I was down, completely down for the count. And, and then I got the Munch Pack box and I thought, well, I got to do a video on that. Uh, I got Lisa's gift and I was like, I have to do a video on that. And I just forced myself to put content out um, because if I didn't, I would just be, I would be in bed for the rest of the day. So I've been really trying to get myself up and doing something. I couldn't even crochet. That's how bad it was. So I'm feeling a little bit better today, but it's up and down. And I'm, I'm wondering if it's, um, like I was told by the doctor that I was just over the cusp of diabetes, having diabetes. So I don't know if that's the effects of the diabetes or, or what it is. So anyway, so here I am <laughs> I'm trying to, <laughs> uh, so anyway, so, so sorry if I seem a little off in my videos. Um, until I can figure out what's going on, it may be that way, but I'm trying really, really hard. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're going to hear some noise in the background because George is home. Um, yeah, I haven't got a lot to show you guys. Um, I have started, I'm, I'm kind of late to the party on this one. Uh, I think it was 2016 when this was the big rage thing. Well, I just found out about it, but it's the, oops, I'm going to lose my stitches here. And I just lost one. It's the super scarf and I'm still working on it. Oops. But it's huge and it's supposed to be 10 feet long wow it's already really wide um but yeah it's supposed to be 
10 feet long and it's supposed to be massive. Like, I think it was Lenny Kravitz um, wore one once and then everybody just went totally crazy over it and started making them. So I started making this from Country Loom and the colorway colors. This one's Ocean Tide. And then this is the Country Loom in Wizard. Um, I'm going to be using six balls, three balls each of these colors to finish this scarf. I don't know if it's going to be 10 feet long, but I'll try and get as much as I can with six balls and then see where we go from there. So I'm doing that right now. Um, what else am I doing? Oh, <laughs> I started doing these. And this isn't finished. This was the first one I tried. But it's um, a hand sanitizer little cover. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting a um, D-Link. A D-Link. Yeah, D-Link. Um, hook on the back with uh, a little tassel -y thing or something um, and see how that turns out. So I'm doing this one's out of acrylic, a sparkly Christmassy acrylic. <clears throat> and then I'm making some other ones out of cotton and I'm trying different things. And I'll show you what they look like when I get, I just ordered the stuff from Amazon. And then they're going to have, it's also going to have little tags that have a saying on it, like hope or believe or something like that. Um, and then once I get those finished, they will be up in my Etsy store. Uh, speaking of my Etsy store, I just wanted to show you, I don't think I, I was showing these to you and I'm so sorry. Uh, I showed you the beads that I had gotten for the stitch markers, but then I didn't show you the actual stitch markers. And boo, boo, boo to me. I mean, how dumb was that? So, this is turtle poop. <laughs> okay. Uh... I think I may have showed these ones to you, but that's bee poop. And then I started making, um, I've got like lots of different ones, like there's angels and dragonflies. Uh, and then I started making um, astrology ones like this one is the capricorn oh here, i'm gonna get a little closer for this so that you can really see it oops so it's got the capricorn symbol on the back and then it's got oh sorry scorpio not capricorn the scorpio sign and then the other one is um, a little butterfly uh and I've got, I've got all the signs, oops, like this one is Libra, is this Libra? No, yeah, it's Libra. And then it's got the little Libra sign on the back. Why doesn't that look? Oh yeah, it's good. And it also has the little saying that goes with it. Um, so, and then the little butterfly. And then I have like, uh, this one's Gemini. Oops. Gemini. And then it has little thing on the back 
So I have all of those up in my Etsy. Now, something that came to my attention, thank you, Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. She was telling me that there was something wrong with my shipping and that the shipping was astronomical. Um, I went and I looked at it and I realized what it, what had happened was I allowed Etsy to um, calculate the shipping for me according to where I am and the weight and um, size of the package. And I thought that that was the mail system. I didn't realize it was Etsy doing it. Well, of course, they don't have their crap together, I guess. And it's, <sighs> yeah. So um, I went in and I changed it to manual. And now I have a flat rate for shipping. Um, now, I may end up eating some of the shipping but I would rather do that than have the shipping so astronomical that nobody's going to buy what I put up there. So, <clears throat> and I only did that for the stitch markers. Okay, for the other stuff, uh, like I've got my blanket up there. I'm going to end up having my sweaters up there at some point. Um, and I know that the shipping is going to be high on that. So I kind of left it the way it is, but for my stitch markers and for some reason, Etsy doesn't combine shipping. So that's another reason why I kept the shipping down low. Okay. Because it's a minimum like $7 to ship anything out of Canada. Like it, it's just ridiculous. So I, I kept the shipping at a minimum. Okay. Um, but yeah, so anyways, go check out my Etsy page. The link is down below and come check out what I've got. There's not, I've got my, some of my, um, what are they called? Loveys there. Uh, I haven't got all my loveys up there yet because I, I haven't made them yet. I got a tiger to make. I have an alligator. I have an elephant. I've got another, um, reindeer or moose sorry to make oh. so I have a few I have to make still but as always you know you you start making something and then you go oh that's cool I want to start making that and then you start start making that and then you see something else and then it's like squirrel 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 so <laughs> yeah I can't seem to just focus on one thing and when I'm not feeling well like, this is the first time that I haven't been able to crochet. Like, except for when my finger was bothering me. Um, so I was really... My emotions were just bad. Really bad. Like, it was really hard for me to be on camera because I was... My emotions were up and down so bad. Um, and George, of course, took the brunt of it. <laughs> Oh man, that guy's going to leave me one day, I swear. But um, yeah, it it was not pretty. It was not pretty at all. But anyways, I digress. Um, so that at, at this moment is all I have to show you. Um, but as I start, once I get this, this scarf finished, I'll show you that. Uh, what else? I'm going to be... I'm still waiting for the yarn to come that Rosalie was sending me so I could finish my blanket. I'm hoping it's going to get here soon. It says it's still in New York. So I'm hoping to get that soon because I really want to finish that blanket. Oh, I'm so excited about that blanket. So, but uh, as soon as I get more stuff done, uh, I will show you <laughs> and I will, I will try and keep up to date on my videos, but I just don't want you guys to see me, you know, in pain or not well or anything. So I try to steer, steer clear. So I'm doing as many videos as I probably should. <laughs> but anyways, 
Okay, so that's all I have for you right now, guys. Happy National Crochet Day. Uh, I hope you guys are crocheting up a storm and tell somebody like a youngin, youngin, holy crap, I'm showing my age, uh, show a young person how to crochet or get them involved in our fiber arts because we don't want this to die. We want it to keep going from generation to generation. Okay, so I will talk to you guys later. I love you. I love you. I love you. I thank you so, so much for being here and supporting me and coming along for my journey. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Surprise, I'm back. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys that I am giving, I am doing a giveaway for National Crochet Day. Ah, yes, I am. So comment down below and say National Crochet Day and you will be entered to win a prize for me. And I am going to have it run until the 15th, which is what? I don't even know what day it is. Today's the 11th. That's all I know. <laughs> So on the 15th, I will be ending the, um, the giveaway. That will be the end. Okay. So comment down below and say National Crochet Day somewhere in the title. And you will be entered for the prize that I will be doing, which I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing yet, but it's going to be good. Okay, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.